I came because I've got a bunch of friends in the Muslim community and they're all really, uh, really smart and wonderful and community engaged and I'm just really proud that they're part of my community so I'm delighted to uh, to show some support. We live in a city that was recently called the most racist city in Canada and uh, the, our civic leaders and our politicians and our uh, you know, population came together really admirably in, 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 in uh, defense of the fact that we're not. Um, and that was more with respect to racism against Aboriginal people. And the fact that in some ways racism against Muslims can be acceptable in a world where we find other kinds of racism unacceptable is just dismaying to me. So I felt like I really had to come out. This is my neighborhood. Um, these are my neighbors. Um, um, I think we should all yeah, make more of an effort to reach out and respect one another. I actually live next door to the mosque here and so I've met a few folks and wanted to take the opportunity just to get to know more and get to know the space itself. Gathering here means to me that there is support and a shared understanding of some of the issues that I think are arising from the Conservative government and uh, there is cause for concern and that we need to be able to begin to speak and act publicly and begin to come together on these things. Uh, in a supportive and encouraging way. So good to be here. What a wonderful turnaround. Excellent. Hi. <laughs> this guy's awesome. <laughs> you knew that already. <laughs> How does it feel to have this number of strange people come into the central yeah, mall? Uh, like I was feeling like things going through my body. Like you know, sometimes you feel this feeling in your body that yeah. you can't describe. Yeah. It's, it's it's very very powerful moment. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's very powerful, like packed mosque, not by Muslims. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and where else in the world does that happen? We spend a lot of time talking about what it means to be Canadian and what human rights are. Our kids are all really interested in that. And today we actually got to live what that means. What is this building called? Uh, a mosque. Uh, that's right. I've been in a mosque before, yeah. but the kids haven't. It's cool. Yeah, I like how like like relaxed it feels and there's like no tension. It's peaceful. It's really unique because most countries don't have that. Like Canada is really unique in that way that everyone's welcome here. I, I care very deeply about this issue. I a leader should be should be pulling people together and trying to make a nation better as opposed to wedging people apart. I want to see a Canada that is open and diverse and yeah, is open to anybody doing really anything they want. Um, helpful Canada. Yeah. A helpful Canada. A, a Canada that that helps people and isn't exclusive and yeah, that, that's the Canada I hope for. I came because uh, quite concerned by what I see happening in the current uh, government of Canada, <clears throat> where the whole issue of wearing the hijab is being used kind of as a scare ta tactic, I believe, in the hope of trying to get, garner some support in election votes. I don't think that attitude is as widely um, pervasive in Canada as Mr. Harper and others want us to think it is, and I believe that, uh, that, that um, people of Muslim faith have the right to express their faith and wear their appropriate garments to, to do that. So I just want to say Muslims are welcome in Canada. Mm -hmm. I met wonderful people and we have in our community wonderful neighbors that came out in support of this. So it, was, it was great. It just happened kind of uh, sporadically. It was Sean's idea. He called me. Wow, Very I just choked up a few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, and yeah, just people from everywhere, and 
I think people are, yeah, just like so thankful to be able to express their their support for something like this and their outrage about the Conservative Party and yeah, it's, it is very heartwarming. And we posted uh, on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday? I think Friday. We didn't, no, we didn't start until Friday. Maybe didn't Friday. Friday. <laughs> to, so to we were hoping poster. for 50 people. Yeah. And then the, the activity on Facebook was pretty strong, so we got 100 samosas. Yeah. <laughs>